Scam artists like to disguise themselves as representatives from organizations that you know and trust, including your public utilities. They also try to force potential victims into acting quickly, without time to do additional research or verification with threats like pay now or your service will be disconnected, or offers of refunds and savings that seem too good to be true. The arrival of colder weather, combined with the financial pressures on many families and businesses because of COVID-19, makes this a prime time for scams that offer large savings or threaten service shut-offs. Individual scam calls or emails may operate using a similar framework. Official sounding calls. Scam artists claim to be representatives from respected agencies like your utility or a government entity. Demands for immediate response. Scammers pressure consumers into acting quickly with threats of service interruptions or claims of large savings. Unusual payment requests. Many financial scammers request payment using prepaid debit cards, gift cards or wire transfers which are generally untraceable. Disclosure of personal information. Offers of refunds or large savings may be used to trick you into disclosing utility account numbers and other personal information, which could be used for future fraud. Awareness and education are the best tools for protecting yourself and your business against potential scams. Scam artists try to pressure you into acting quickly without the time to think carefully about what you are doing, like asking, why does my electric utility need payment using an IT gift card. COVID-19 has dramatically decreased face-to-face -face interactions. Scammers continue to aggressively use phone and online networks to target you. And their tactics are constantly evolving. Take care.